Hello, Michael again, and uh, today we have a, a TX3220 CB UHF radio, um, and the symptoms of this radio is low TX power. Um, the transmitter is not transmitting uh, as it should, and also the uh, customer has um, uh, told me that the receiving side of the radio was poorly. I have um, uh, suspected that it was an antenna fault with the customer's radio and I've checked the customer's antenna and found that there was a, uh, a short across the cable and we had to repair the short across the, uh, uh, the um, antenna cable uh, before we could um, give the antenna system a clean bill of health. I um, tested, the, tested the antenna. Um, when we first checked the antenna we had a SWR, uh, SWR here, um, we had an SWR reading of over um, 12, which is pretty bad. In fact, it's uh, anything but above 3 is considered bad. So uh, we fixed up the antenna and we then had a reading of 1.08. So it was fantastic. Um, to a point where 1.08 1, 1 to 1, uh, you could arguably say you couldn't get it much better than that. Problem with high SWR, particularly if it's higher than 3, three to 1, um, is the uh, antenna system shows or presents itself like a short across the antenna uh, output of the radio and the finals in these radios don't like having a, a short uh, for any duration of time usually anything above 30 to 40 seconds of transmitting with a short is enough to kill the radio's um, finals or the, the IC finals so we fixed the antenna and that's fine tested it and uh, we're still getting low TX power out on the radio so I suspect the finals have gone in this as well. So today we'll uh, rip this apart and uh, we'll uh, replace the IC and see what we get on the uh, on the test set. Now I'll show you before I do pull it apart what sort of a, a symptom we get for radio of low power. Now I've plugged the radio into the test set here. So this is the test set and we're on uh, 476 900 which is channel 20 here's our wattage that the radio will put out when I transmit so if you just watch that I'll transmit now okay and we're only getting about 33 millivolts uh, which is very low that's like preamp stage type voltages so well, let's, uh, let's swap this final out Our four contact points for our IC. And there's our IC sitting there. And we'll unsolder that one. Here's our IC. We'll get our new IC. A bit of heat sink compound to put on it.
that in, screw him back up. So if you're not getting out very far with your transmission, it's highly likely that's your finals. But if you're not receiving too well as well, it's your most likely your antenna at fault. And if you don't do anything quick about getting your antenna fixed, a um, more expensive exercise of replacing the IC uh, will follow. All right, so let's just solder that into place. All right, let's test it. Channel 20. All right, let's check our power now. We'll just put our attenuator on because I don't want to overload the test set. So attenuate, 40 dB, transmit. There we go, 3.7, 3.8 watts. All right, Problem so solved. the only other thing I need to do before I write up the job card for this one is to put it back together and test the receivers working. We have the transmitters working now. So let's pop the lid back on. You can hear that tone in the background, that's actually the test set. I've already put it into transmit mode. So the test set is transmitting into the antenna. But it's uh, currently at 130 dBm. So the radio won't be receiving at 130 dBm. Well, it'll be receiving, but it won't be opening the scorch anyway way down there, too low for it. Okay, so, let's see. So we've got 130 dBm, that's generating. So if I bring that back, okay. So the radio is now open, but Radio has now opened the squelch at 118.4 dBm and it shouldn't close the squelch until about 122. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Now if you want that a little bit more sens sensitive, we'll just change our squelch level. So I'll just put this up here while I do that. So we press and hold this, rotate. There's our squelch level. So if I put it on one, now squelch will close, 122, and probably will sh or should open at about 120 or 121. There you go. So it's a lot more sensitive. Radio is a lot more sensitive, and if you want to make it not so sensitive, just press and hold, rotate. We'll put it on four, and I'll show you the difference. So on four, once again, the DVM, bring the DVM down, and the radio now doesn't open up until about 115. 115 DVM. And as you can hear, the actual uh, radio hasn't got as much noise in the background when it opens up. So I'm just going to put it back to 2 because that's where it was. 
and I'm happy that that is now receiving and transmitting without a fault. So that can go back to the customer. Okay, thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.